do another pass on the pit. Passing on the pit. Um, and I am going to use the colors I've been using still. I'm not going to try to get too dark just yet. At least I don't think I am. Um, which brush do I want to use? You seem possibly a bit too big. You seem a little too small. <laughs> Where's the one that's just right? Oh, right there. I think it was right in front of me. Um, yeah, that's about the, a good size for that. And a nice point so I can um, have some, some control over that edge. So let me see. Um, this is sort of the practicing the, the notion of a graded wash, and I'll be doing it starting with one color and then introducing the second color on dry paper and doing it in sort of a diagonal in this sort of way. It's my Azo yellow. Okay, and then I'm gonna dab my um, Quinn burnt orange and just continue on this shape, pulling that bead and where the bead is, these colors will start blending. A little bit more Quinn burnt orange. A little bit more. You guessed it. <laughs> a little bit more. Oh, I think I sound it. It's kind of a Bob Ross thing. Anyways. I'm getting, let's see, yeah, it's getting um, darker, which is what I want. What I am going to do is switch to even a smaller brush that's right here. And try to um, just even drop in a little bit of darker color as I get furthest away from the light. And shifting to a smaller brush for this technique is very important so I don't introduce a bunch of extra water. Once again, it's important I don't try to um, dab in paint into an area that's too dry. I'll, I'll do that later. I'll do that in a, in a subsequent pass if, if I want to keep the, the blend really gradual and consistent. Try even a little bit stronger. This paper is um, a, from a block of Arches 300. And while I do like it more than the 140, it's still not the same as buying it in the big sheets. Big sheets are something, something I like 
much more about those than the block paper. I'm not sure if that's just from being stubborn or snooty or if there really sort of is a difference in, in the two. It doesn't seem like there would be, but um, they seem pretty different. Eventually to get even darker down here, I'll be mixing in some indigo. Here's a good example of, I, I see this hair right there. Um, and if I started fussing with that, it would probably throw me off and when it it's just, it's really just it's gonna if I leave it there it's gonna be better especially because it's in such a dark area if it was in a light area and it was soaking up dark color around it that might that would be a problem but um yeah definitely I'm trying to err on the side of leaving the, the light part light because that's easy to lose. And doing that both on the pit and on, on the avocado proper as well. And you can tell the, this is this is you know not getting that much darker that fast, but that's what watercolor does usually for the most part. And I think I will just let that dry like that. I might, I might tip it just a bit because I want to make sure that um, the darker color stays as much as possible down in the lower left. Okay. Sort of okay. I'm going to scrub away a little reflected light later. I'll explain that later. Um Okay, I think I'll, leave the, I'll, I'll let that dry. Okay.